Um, so they've also come up with a very young squad as well. Um, you know, with a bit of uh, a bit of the conditions that we're seeing right now, it should be a close one as well. Each and every game is definitely going to be tricky. We're not just going to turn up and you know, win every single game easily. And if you look at it, Zimbabwe have spent some time here against Australia and won their first ever game in Australia as well. And they have been playing well, especially as a batting group as well. You know, Sikanda Raz and these guys have been around a long while and they, they are match winners as well. And we need to respect that. So we need to come hard against these guys. I mean, now you know you're talking about some big boys there. <laughs> Again, you know, it's all it is execution on the day, and you know, I think West Indies are a really good side, though. Um, they've got power from the start to all the way down to the bottom, so and then they've got good bowling units as well. But um, again, T20 cricket just takes three balls. I've played against a few of the Zimbabwean boys before, and they're again highly competitive side. I think they've got a really good ball in the top. Um, I think that's that's where the strength lies. And uh, I've played against, for example, Blessing was a Rubandi, and he's one of those guys who can break open the top order. Uh, and I think they'll be relying heavily on him to break things open for them. Uh, and then they've got some very clever spinners in the middle, and then these guys to come back in the back end. So I think their bowling is to be feared, um, or to be watched. Uh, and more often than not, we've just got to find ways to negotiate their their bowling their bowling lineup, and then obviously outpower them with the bat. Well, funny enough, Zimbabwe is another team that I um, I coached as part of my um, coaching CV. But they they've been playing well the last two or three tours they had. They they've played well. They've they've won some some games against big teams, and they've shown that they they're exciting young team uh, again. But they they come to to win. They come to play hard. So that's that's how we look at them. Yeah, look, the, the West Indies have got um, you know serious power hitters in their, in their squad, and they're the sort of team that on a good day they can they can get well over 200. Uh, but at the same time, they they're playing a qualifier which they probably aren't really used to. Um, so there's there's that added pressure um, on on top of them. So every team has a has a fair chance.